Hello everyone. Welcome to Ortho Implants for Life. Today we will discuss PFN A2 or proximal femoral anti-rotation nailing implants and related instruments. So let's begin. Today we will discuss about PFN A2. PFN A2 or proximal femoral nail anti-rotation for Asia has been developed specially for Asian patients. Some clinical studies have previously reported that short-term clinical outcomes of PFN A2 are satisfactory in most patients and it provides an anatomy matched with the narrower and shorter femurs of Asian and contributes to decreased complications. It is available in two versions. One is short which length 170 mm, 200 mm, 240 mm, depending upon the company. And another is long, length 320 mm to 440 mm. It is a site-specific nail. It is available for both left and right leg. The shorter version of PFN A2 are used for base stroke fracture, intertrochanteric fracture, transverse and short oblique subtrochanteric fractures. Whereas a long PFN A2, is used for comminuted subtrochanter fracture, double level trochanter fracture with sharp femur fracture, and pathological fractures. This is a PFN blade. This is a specially designed blade which works as anti rotation, does augmentation of fixation, compress the cancellous bone, and make a more stronger and compact in osteoporotic cancellous bone large surface area for better purchase and decrease the risk of cutout dramatically. The locking option of the blade makes a more stable construct. For the distal locking of PFN A2, a 4.9 mm locking bolt is used. For shorter version, there are three options available. One is static, one is static 90 degree, another is dynamic. And for the longer nails, there are two options, which is static and dynamic. For longer nails, it is upon the surgeon to decide how many locking bolts required to be fixed in these holes. This is 3.2 mm guide pin for PFN A2. This is T-handle chuck with key. This is proximal reamer with coupling chuck. You can fix the chuck here for a better grip while rimming. This is a tissue protector. This is PFN A2 jig. This is one of the most vital piece of equipment for the surgery. We will discuss the use of this equipment in a later video. With this jig, you will also require a nail connecting bolt for PFN A2 jig. To operate the nail connecting bolt, we will require an Allen key external fixator. Then we will require a blade impactor. This is a wire measurement scale used to measure the length of the guide pin. This is another vital piece of equipment which is a buttress nut with sleeve. Through this the guide pin will go in through this part and after guide wire or guide pin the PFN A2 blade will also go through this.
This is the key for PFNA2 blade. Now this is the PFNA2 nail. It is available in different sizes. It is a site specific nail. This is a radiographic scale. This is used to measure the diameter of the nail as well as the length of the nail. Then we will need a hammer. Now to insert the nail, this is a hammering adapter. This is a lateral cortex breaker. And this is a reamer for the blade. This is used to rim to make the way for the PFN A2 blade. This is an extractor for nail removal. And this is an extractor for blade removal. This is a cannulated awl. This is used to create the entry point for the nail. This is a 4.5 mm solid screwdriver, long. And this is a protection sleeve for 4.9 mm locking bolt. This is the drill sleeve for 4.9 mm locking bolt. And then this is a trocker. This helps us to fix a bolt in the nail. This is a flexible proximal reamer. This is an extra compression device. The screwdriver to adjust the blade. This is a box spanner to tighten the buttress nut. This is a drill bit for the 4.9 mm locking bolt. This is a basic spanner. It can be used in several purposes during the surgery. So that will be all for PFN A2 nails. If you have enjoyed the video, like it, share it. If you are new to our channel, subscribe it. Hit the bell icon to get the notifications for our upcoming videos. If you have any queries, comment below and we will surely reply back. If you want to know more about career prospects in orthopedic implant industry and wish to start a career in orthopedic implant industry, please click the link below in the description box and DM us to know more. Thank you and see you in our next video.